twice. Now in this video also we are continuing with the sentence. Uh, last time we have discussed parts of a sentence and here we are going to discuss kinds of a sentence. Let us first discuss what is a sentence. Now a sentence is a group of words that makes a complete sense. It has to make a sense to be a sentence. Suppose if I say my name is Remas Chetri. That is a group of words and it also makes a sense. So that will be a sentence. I cannot say Remas is the name mine. That is also a group of words but it doesn't make sense. So that is not a sentence. It has to make a sense. Now sentences are of four types. There are four types. So kinds. So four. Number one is your assertive sentence. Next one, your interrogative sentence. Number three, imperative sentence. And the last one is exclamatory sentence. So these are the four kinds of sentence. Assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence. Now let us discuss the first one, assertive sentence. Now what is an assertive sentence? So assertive sentence are those sentences which assert something or declares something or states something. That's why they are also called declarative sentence and also statement because they states, they declare something. Suppose if I write here, this is the first example. Uh, my name is Remas. So that is assertive sentence. I'm declaring my name. My name is Remas. Then if I write here, I teach English grammar is an example of assertive sentence. Now these assertive sentences are divided into two parts. They are number one is affirmative or positive and number two is negative. So these are the parts of assertive sentence. So if you look at this sentence, I teach English grammar, this is your assertive or sorry affirmative sentence. If I add here, I do not teach English grammar, this is your negative sentence, not. It will be your negative sentence. So whenever there is negation in a sentence, no or not, that will become your negative sentence. Otherwise, that is called affirmative sentence, but both are assertive sentence in a whole. Okay. So next one, interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentences are those question, sorry, those sentences which ask question. They are used to ask question and they always end with a question mark. Suppose if I write here, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is your interrogative sentence. If I ask, do you like my videos? That is also interrogative sentence. Now imperative sentence. Now in imperative sentence, you have to remember there will be order, command, request, advice, prohibition etc. So these are the qualities which you are going to find in an imperative sentence because they also end with a full stop. Assertive sentence also ends with a full stop. Don't get confused. Imperative sentence they always have order, command, request, advice or prohibition. Suppose if I say bring me that book. Imperative sentence Request, please bring me that book. Imperative sentence. If you don't study, you are going to fail. Advice, imperative. 
prohibition, trespassers will be prosecuted. You have heard that in many gates it will be written, trespassers will be prosecuted. So that is prohibition, that is also imperative sentence. I give I write some example here also. Stand up imperative sentence. Please give me some water imperative sentence. They are imperative sentence. So they have order, command, request, advice, and prohibition. Now exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence. They are sudden excitement or feelings. Okay, they are sudden excitement or feelings, and they always end with an exclamation mark. At the end, you'll find this sign punctuation that is exclamation mark. Suppose if I write here, uh, what a lovely day! Exclamation mark. Exclamatory sentence. Uh, how funny he looks. Exclamatory sentence. So these are exclamatory sentences. There are others also, and sometimes interjections are put before a sentence to make it exclamatory, like alas, bura, that kind of words will be added. So these are the kinds of sentences. First one is assertive sentence which are divided into two parts, affirmative and negative. Examples are here, I teach English grammar affirmative, I do not teach English grammar negative. But as a whole, they are called assertive sentence or in some book, declarative sentence and also as statement. Interrogative sentence, they are used to ask question. Example, what are you doing? Okay. Next one, imperative sentence, they end with a full stop, but they have order, command, request, and advice plus the prohibition. So some of the example I have written here: stand up, please give me some water, etc. And exclamatory sentence. They are the sudden excitement and feelings which comes out. Like when we see the day, lovely day, we say, "What a lovely day!" How funny he looks with an exclamation mark at the end. So they are called exclamatory sentence. Thank you.